Hi, Achim from Interspace Explorers. This is the last video from the Amsterdam series. And today we want to talk about signaling and communication on the water. And the reason for that is that just over the course we also had the topic is that mm, okay sign. I see people giving okay signs it, every time as a response to whatever you give them, it's always okay, 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 and I can't see it anymore because it doesn't make any sense. So when somebody asks you, are you okay? You can answer, I am okay. For every other signal on the water, it doesn't make sense. So if I ask you, like, let's go to the exit, you don't give me an okay sign, you give me an let's go to the exit if I ask you question are you cold you don't give me an okay sign you say no I'm not cold or yes I am cold let's get the fuck out of here so the main thing in all this communication is that you repeat the sign from the person approaching you because you want to make sure that person sees that you understand what he wanted from you. I've seen people giving okay sides literally seconds because before they freaked out, went into panic, tried to go to the surface, whatever. And one of the and one of the reasons I should probably cut that out. <laughs> I've seen people literally freak out and go in panic mode seconds after they gave me an OK sign. And the main reason for this problem is that the ability for underwater communication regarding signals is very, very limited with a lot of people, a lot of divers. I mean, when you look into more technical diving or into more aggressive technical diving, when you look into cave diving, there's so much more hand signals. And of course that doesn't have to do anything with technical diving. Like one of my favorites is the question mark. Because if you think about it, there are so many things like cold. Does that mean when I give it, I am cold? Or does it mean, are you cold? Who knows? So obviously, question mark. Cold? Then it's clear for everybody. Um, but tons of divers never saw that. The other thing is light communication again something that is not necessarily tied to technical diving especially today with the led technology the battery technology that we have today today a proper light doesn't have to cost 1500 euros you can have very very decent underwater lights for very reasonable prices i mean you look at the alien light that unfortunately is out of production right now but that was like 360 euros it was a light that was even for severe technical diving perfect so everybody can have a reasonable torch with a proper beam and can use it for what we call passive communication so if i'm diving with my body in sometimes you think people like every 30 seconds turn around like are you okay a lot of people go out of trim they go out of focus from what they want to do they just the flow of the dives is interrupted which I hate. So if I'm diving with my buddy and we both have a light on the left hand, my buddy knows exactly where I'm looking. I'm looking where my light beam is. And the same thing goes for my buddy. So if we do the same dive together, our light beams will more or less moving together parallel. So unless his light beam does something weird, I don't have to ask him if he's okay because I see that he's okay. I don't have to see him. I see his light beam moving along with mine. And if he wants my attention because there's this super nice fish that I should see or the formation or whatever, he just gives a signal with his light beam in my field of vision. So if my, if my light beam's there and he wants my attention, he just gives his light beam just very modest, like, hey, have a look. And then I can turn my attention to him and he can say, look, there's the cool fish. And if there's an emergency, he obviously gives me a very violent signal. And that moment I turn around and my hand obviously goes on my regulator because that's the worst case scenario and I'm prepared for that. But I do not have to interrupt the flow of the dive every couple of seconds, minutes, whatever, to check if the guy is still alive. All right, I hope this makes sense to you. 
if you have specific questions on that, ask them in the comments section. Check out the Patreon site. That's again where we discuss things in detail. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you next video.